Hello, I will be discussing uh, the theme and imagery on Annabelle Lee. Um, I chose the work of Annabelle Lee. Uh, this work is appealing to me because it's very entertaining to read with the rhyming and the way it was written, but also it showed his love for a girl and how he was still reminded of her through many earthly things. Um, a theme that is defined as the main idea or underlying meaning in a work um, what is the thing of the story that you've chosen? Um, why do you think so? I think the main idea of the poem is of a girl who he dearly loved. She had died, but he was constantly reminded of her through life forms and describes her being angel-like to a sense. So, um, there's a part in the story where it talks about, um, <laughs> The angels couldn't even, uh, it was about the angels and it was about uh, the stars and the moon. And basically, they don't um, add up to what she was. She was angel-like. She was very beautiful. She, he compared her to the most beautiful things to us that we see. So uh, that's what that meant to me and the, the main idea. Um, the quotes I chose were from lines of the Annabelle uh uh, poem. Um, I chose one line. It says, and the stars never rise, but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And this is describing the imagery that is developed in the theme. I put, the quote uses imagery describing the eyes of Annabelle Lee, giving us a visual of just how beautiful they were. Um, I think the overall aspect of it is to tell us how beautiful and how dearly he loved Annabelle Lee and how uh, he gave us visuals of it. Uh, through this one, he says, how bright eyes of the beautiful, that, and the star, stars are super bright. It gives us, oh, Annabelle Lee's eyes are just as bright, if not brighter, in the words of Edgar Allan Poe. So it gives you a very visual effect of it. Um, Another quote I chose, that wind came out of the cloud, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. Um, this quote gives you a visual of the wind and how it may have looked like coming down and killed his most prized person. Um, so basically, for me, I visually think about the um, wind coming out of clouds, swooping down. And killing Annabelle Lee, it gives me a visual. I can look at it and think of it and see what, um, um, basically what he was talking about through that. Um, how does your theme connect to the ideas in Romanticism or Dark Wars? So I had a little bit of trouble on this because I know the ideas of it, but I was trying to pinpoint a couple. But this was what I came up with. And I looked these up on Google also to make sure what the ideas of romanticism were. Um, themes in this story are self-destruction. I think he personally dwells on Annabelle Lee so much that it's like killing him to realize that he's um, not going to be with her and he's just, he always dwells on her and it's killing him, but to the point of mentally and just thinking about her all the time. I also think he feels guilt because of her passing. He doesn't feel guilty that it was his fault, but he does feel guilty to a sense of he loved her. It was his most prized, uh, not possession, but just like girl. He thought the world of her, but then all of a sudden she's gone. And I think it, he has a little bit of responsibility to himself and he feels guilty about it because she was just gone all of a sudden and he never wanted that to happen, obviously. So I think that really affected him mentally and not physically, but I think it really uh, took a toll on him mentally knowing that something so special to him was gone and he felt like he could have done a better job at not having her gone and him still here not living with her. So thank you and uh, have a great day.